Hello and welcome to Miss of Time Emporium. I'm Joni and today I'm going to be stepping you through the Crystal Ally cards. I um, just recently did a Tarot to the Extremes VR to Marlena T Teresa and I talked about these cards and I thought I'd, I'd take you through the deck even though they're they're an old deck. My book is old. Look, <laughs> it's well used. This is this is a wonderful set of cards. I love crystals. I love love crystals. I actually worked at a crystal store um, for a little over a year just to surround myself by crystals and study the crystals. It's fascinating. Anyway, I want to share this deck because this really is a crystal ally partner. It, I'll just flip the first card. It gives you a stone, it gives you a keyword, and then, for instance, let's just go to the book and look at this for a bit because it will give you different elements, which stones are, are with different elements. So I bet, yeah, garnet is an earth element. So let's go to page 95. So it will give you an overview. It will tell you about garnet, the energy of garnet. And then it takes you to the message and then it takes you to what chakra and an affirmation for the day so you can pull out a garnet set it on your altar or your bookshelf or your area and say I receive abundance through all channels of the universe and the crystal will assist you in really embracing the message so again a wonderful wonderful book so let's take a flip through the cards oh and the crystals that I have here I just wanted to share this is celestite it's a special celestite because it has a little see this little triangle that when you get that in a crystal that helps you access Akashic records and those kinds of things so Celestite and Danborite help you, wh when I read my cards, when I talk to my cards and I'm shuffling, I'm connecting with my highest guides. So these two crystals are really great for connecting to whatever you want to call them, angels, guides, the, the highest realms. Then I use Fluorite because Fluorite helps when studying things or receiving messages. It helps to retain those messages. Lapis Lazuli is another great stone. It connects you to your third eye uh, and helps intuition and things like that. And this is a beautiful amethyst slice. Amethyst is uh, the violet flame, same thing, connects to high realms, intuition, that kind of thing. So that's just a quick walk through. I, and I also always add lots of quartz wherever I am and uh, because it helps amplify and clear. But quartz, you do have to cleanse regularly. Like I have a bunch of my quartz sitting on my windowsill right now under full moon and sunlight to clear the energies so that they can be a great amplifier of high energy. Okay, so let's step through the rest of the cards. Moldavite. So the thing about Moldavite is transformation. It brings it about hard and fast. It's a roller coaster. So if you're looking for transformation quickly, Moldavite's your girl. Rhodochrosite. There's also element cards. So 
So again, I've had these cards for a long time. And there's, there's the Danborite or Spirit. I've gotten some of my most clear, accurate, helpful readings with this deck. And these cards are just a good reminder that these stones are our allies and they will help us utilize the vibrational energies that we have uh, access to. These are the little fluorite. These are natural growths. Fulgurite. I have I have the fortune to have pieces of fulgurite. Fulgurite is created when lightning strikes sand and creates these tubes of natural glass. I love adventuring too. Adventuring is a good healing stone. I also always keep black tourmaline around my cards. Uh, I have several pieces of black tourmaline for each of the areas that my cards reside in, just as kind of a protection. So the elements are in the borders of these cards. If there's a particular crystal that you'd like to see or know, know more about, please let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to pull my crystals and share them with you. Labradorite, one of my favorite crystals. I, I always keep this around because of its connection to the light in dark places and magic. And just a reminder, any stones that end in ITE tend to be water soluble, so don't cleanse them in water. And also some crystals will fade out in the sunlight. Lapis Lazuli, great place to end. Thanks for joining me today to take a walk through the Crystal Ally cards. I hope you have a wonder-filled day or evening whenever you find this video. Thanks for joining us, and we hope to see you again soon. Like and subscribe. We appreciate it.